Hi, first grade friends, it's Mrs. Shooter, and I'm here with Rashid, and today we're finishing our book called Mr. Putter and Tabby Drop the Ball. Now, yesterday we learned that we need to pay close attention to characters to really get to know them, and we did that by looking at the pictures, we were thinking about the words that the author used to describe our characters, and we also paid attention to what they said and things that they did to better understand them. Well, today what we're gonna be doing is we're still gonna be paying close attention, but we're also, as we get to know our characters, we're also gonna to try to figure out how they're feeling. And sometimes throughout the story, their feelings change in an instant, like right away. But other times it takes a little bit more time for their, you might not notice it right away, but their feelings change. They're feeling one way in the beginning of the story, and at the end, they might be feeling something completely different. So it's our job to be on the lookout when characters' feelings change in the story. And we can do that by paying attention, once again, the same thing, by really looking at their facial expressions in the illustrations and be paying attention to things that are being said or things that are being done. So let's get started. Mr. Putter yesterday, he found his old mitt in his basement after um, a, quite a bit of rest. He wanted to be active again. So he found his old mitt and he called in chapter two, his good friend, Mrs. Teaberry. Mrs. Teaberry knew of a team already that they could play with. Now remember, Mr. Putter was starting to feel a little bit nervous. He was excited at first. He started feeling nervous though, because he hasn't played baseball for a while. So Mrs. Teaberry, as a good friend as she is, she was supportive and cheered him on. So they got up to the ball field. And here, the team that they're going to be watching and hopefully playing for is called the Dandies. Now, if you can see, by just looking at the pictures, it looks like Mrs. Teaberry is in uniform, but it looks like they're gonna allow him to play the first time, so that's pretty good. Let's read to find out more. The Dandies. Mrs. Teaberry and Zeke arrived in their baseball clothes. Let's go, said Mrs. Teaberry. They all drove to the ball field. Now they look pretty excited. They're smiling, they're ready to go. The Yankee Doodle Dandies were in the middle of a game. A batter was running for home. Everyone waited and waited and waited. I'm feeling pretty young, said Mr. Putter. Stop and think. Hmm. They said waited and waited and waited because this man's moving pretty slow. So now remember, Mrs. T. Berry's probably think, thinking, I told you you wouldn't be the oldest person on this team. And I think he's starting to get a little bit more confidence saying he could probably hang with them and he would probably be able to play baseball and do an okay job on this team. So let's keep reading to find more out. Let's go play, said Mrs. T. Berry. She looked at Zeke. Stay, she said, patting Zeke's head. Mr. Putter looked at Zeke. No way, Mr. Putter thought. He patted Tabby and went to play. Now, fourth chapter is drop the ball. Now let's be on a lookout. We're really paying attention. So we already, Mr. Putter's feelings already kind of changed slowly. They keep going back and forth. He was excited to play baseball. Then he got a little bit nervous because he hasn't played for a while. But then he realized, hmm, he might not be the oldest person on the team and he might be able to do a decent job playing. So he gained a little bit more confidence. So his feelings have been slowly changing throughout the chapters. So let's really pay attention to see if other characters um, have their feelings change as well. Now, right now, it looks that Mrs. Teaberry is pretty happy. She's out in the field, same with Mr. Putter. And I can tell because they're paying attention, their expressions, they're smiling. And she's also looks like she's running towards the ball. So it looks like she's pretty excited and she's happy that she's there. So let's read to find out. Chapter four, drop the ball. The Yankee Doodle Dandies were very nice. They let Mr. Putter and Mrs. Teaberry play right away. 
Mr. Putter took the outfield. Mrs. Teaberry took shortstop. The batter came up, swing and a miss, swing and a miss, swing and a miss. Hmm, thought Mr. Putter in the outfield. I could be taking a nap. Hmm. He thought that, and this is a, something that the author said, I could be taking a nap. Does he really seem engaged? Now, she, Mrs. Teaberry looks like she's ready to go, but if it says I could be taking a nap, I'm starting to think when you take a nap, you're tired, usually tired, or you're kind of bored. So at first, he was pretty excited, and he got confidence, and he wanted to play. But because he, this batter kept missing, he stated, I could be taking a nap. It sounds like he's pretty bored and he's kind of over and doesn't really want to, doesn't care too much. Let's see if his attitude changes or stays the same. Another batter came up. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. Swing and... A ground ball to second. Mrs. T-Berry leaped into action. She ran for the ball. She reached for the ball. Then, Zeke got the ball. He was very proud. He ran around and around in circles. Drop the ball, Zeke, everyone yelled. Zeke did not drop the ball. The other team scored. Oh, dear, said Mrs. T-Berry. Oh, boy, thought Mr. Putter. So now Mrs. Teaberry was really excited, but now look at her facial expression. She doesn't seem too thrilled. She looks almost a little bit embarrassed because this was her dog. And her dog's interrupting the game. Hmm. Let's see if they can get control of Zeke. Zeke looks happy. He's excited. He thinks he's having a really good time. It looks like he's smiling. He's running around. He's playing, but it is interrupting the game which is causing other players to kind of get upset because this person stole home. Tabby purred in the dugout. Baseball was fun. Fun for her because she gets to still take her naps. Now, let's see if their attitudes change. Right now, Mrs. Teaberry, she's feeling a little bit embarrassed because her dog stole the ball and the other team was able to score. So she wasn't feeling that happy embarrassed. So let's see what happens in chapter five. It says, what a day. Well, it looks like the other team is about to hit another ball. Let's do a sneak peek. <gasps> Mr. Putter has his, ha his hand over his head. Uh-oh. When somebody does that, I'm thinking that they're not too happy or they're disappointed. And it looks like Mrs. Teaberry is scolding Zeke. And Zeke no longer has a uh, um, a smile on his face, it kind of looks brown, so he looks like he's kind of being scolded. Somebody has their hands on their hips. So really pay attention to the way the characters' expressions and their how their body language is, what they're telling you. So let's see if that changes as we read. What a day. Another batter came up. Swing and a miss, swing and a miss, swing and a ground ball to third. Mr. Putter couldn't watch. Glum. Zeke got the ball and ran in circles. The other team scored again. The Yankee Doodle Dandies were not happy. They benched Zeke. Stay, they said. No way, thought Mr. Putter. The score was tied two to two. If the other team scored again, the Dandies would lose. So friends, even the way in the text, so I can see Mrs. T. Berry is not very happy. She's telling him to stay. She's being a little bit more firm with her dog, Zeke, because they said stay, and the author did stay. The Yankee Doodle Dandies were not happy. Now they're tied two to two. They could lose this game because Zeke kept playing around. So they're no longer disappointed from just the first time he did it. Now they're starting to get a little angry and upset with Zeke. Let's see it, what happens if they end up losing or if they can come back and win the game. A batter, a batter came up, swing and a miss, swing and a miss, swing and a hit to the outfield. Mr. Putter leaped into action. He ran for the ball. It was rolling, rolling. He'd have to bend down to get the ball. Mr. Putter tried to bend down, but his knees said, no way. The dandies were about to lose, but then, 
think about what do you think could happen? Boom! Zeke got the ball. Zeke looked at Mr. Putter. Mr. Putter looked at Zeke. Then Zeke jumped. He jumped and he put the ball right into Mr. Putter's mitt. Then Mr. Putter threw the, that ball to home. And because the batter was 100 years old and hadn't gotten there yet, the Dandies got him out. Hooray! The game ended in a tie. The Dandies carried Zeke on their shoulders and they gave Tabby a ride in the peanut box. What a day, Mr. Putter and Tabby and Mrs. Tabby and Zeke ate 10 free bags of peanuts and drank three gallons of water. Then they all found a nice spot in the dugout and took a long nap. Zeke's feet twitched a lot, but he couldn't help it. He was still in the game. Here are their baseball cards. Mr. Putter in the outfield, Tabby, bench warmer, just somebody who's there to support them. Mrs. T. Berry, shortstop. Zeke, first base, second base, third base, outfield catcher, mascot. <laughs> so, friends, it was kind of nice at the end of the story where they were all happy again. They ended up with a tie game. So they didn't lose, but they didn't win, but they were just happy they got to play. And um, Zeke ended up saving the day, which made everybody's attitudes and feelings change. And you could tell that by them chanting hooray and looking at their facial expressions in the pictures. So what I want you to remember is when you're reading stories, not only do we have to get to know the characters, but we need to know how they're feeling throughout the story. And we really need to be paying close attention to everything that the author gives us. So that means the paying attention to the pictures, making predictions by looking at the pictures, um, focusing on their facial expressions and where their, what their body movements are, and um, are giving you, and also the things that they have said and the words that the author uses to describe them. So today, when you go off and read, I really want you to pay close attention, get to know your characters, and really pay attention to how they're feeling. Do their feelings change throughout the story? And how do you know? What in the text is telling you that or showing you that? So Rashid and I, thank you for joining us these past two days, and we miss you very much, um, but you have a big job to do, and we want you to go off and do your best reading. So good luck, friends, and have fun.